Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If I'm talking a bit strange, I've just come back from the dentist to get my filling finally sorted. Um, I'm a little bit worried because when they... I'm not going to worry about it, but... They, I, miss, I think they've caught a nerve when they put the needle in. So hopefully all the feeling comes back in my face because this is unbearable. And so I'm just sitting here working through, working on my iPad. So I did a sketch earlier. Let me turn you around. So I did a little sketch earlier of this cat and I'm trying to digitize it. But um, I want it to look, I want it to look analog. So I've downloaded a free, uh, what's the word, a free sampler of True Grit textures. You get loads in there actually, all you need to do is sign up their newsletter and they send you this. Uh, but I don't know if I know how to use them properly, so I don't, I don't know. I'm going to play around with this and see if I can get, get things looking more analogue. But it might just be that I prefer analog finished pieces, but it's a bit of a pain because um, when you're trying to convert them to being digital, sometimes when you scan a, a kind of paper piece, it highlights different colours that you can't... That So, for example, those um, finished pieces that I did for the, for the picture hooks competition... When I scanned those, it the scanner picked up all of the yellow that I'd kind of scribbled over the top. And that it wasn't as prominent in real life. So I ended up having to take photographs. But then when you change, do that, you've got to change all the levels and stuff like that. And sometimes it's a bit tricky. So maybe I just need to get better at, it, at, at dealing with it being a bit tricky and editing all of those things. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with this and hope the feeling in my face comes back. So I tried um, adding some texture to the iPad thing. Sorry, you're a bit wonky. There we go. Yeah, I tried adding some texture to it, and it kind of worked. It was, it was. I ended up with a better result than I started with, which is good, good progress. But I just want to scratch the analog art each, and I'm going to uh, transfer this onto a big sheet of paper. And if it turns out good, it turns out good. If it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> so let's uh, let's go. Update on the tongue situation, by the way. It doesn't seem to have made any lasting problems when they caught the nerve. Yay! Let me show you what I've done so far. So yeah, as you can probably tell, you don't really need the narrative. I've done the background. Uh, you might be wondering what this line's for. This is because I want to do the finished pieces A4, not just because um, they fit in an A4 scanner, which I've got, but it's easy to frame. And this watercolour block, which is like, it's like a glued block where you've got to score all around the edges to release the watercolour paper. Um, this is a million years ago, it's not quite A4, so what I did, got my new cartridge paper A4 pack and drew around it in the middle so then when I take this paper off I can uh, cut around those lines and then it will fit in my scanner.
it turns out that this paper isn't really the right kind of paper. It's picking up. It's got, it's got too much grain, do you know what I mean? So when I'm trying to shade with the side of my pencil, it's all I'm seeing is basically, I'm like, it's like I'm doing a, a tree rubbing. Uh, oh, my oven's, my oven's going off. Hang on, let me go and turn my oven off. Um, so I probably won't use that paper for any more final work like that. I'll save it for just watercolor uh, rather than mixed media. Shush oven, I'm coming. Right. So that's my timer. I've got to go and have my dinner now. Uh, but thanks for joining me on today's little journey. I've got full use of my mouth back now, so anyone that was worried, you don't need to be. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.